What is up, everybody? In today's video, I will be talking about a controversial topic that's been going on in the offseason, whether Zach Tom should leave the right tackle position and play center guard or stay at the right tackle position. I know there have been needs at the left tackle and the right guard position. We drafted Jordan Morgan in the first round, so we're definitely going to see where that's going to happen. But this is a topic that I want to talk about, and I've been analyzing potential lineups and how I feel about the situation. But in my honest opinion, I think Zach Tom should stay at right tackle. The tackle position is one of the most premium positions in the NFL. If you have a solid starter at that position, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Whether having him protect your blind side or your throwing side, I think it's very crucial to find a very key player playing the tackle position. On top of that, Zach Tom is playing well beyond his base salary. His base salary is about $900,000, where if you look at his 2023 over-the-cap valuation, he is actually worth about $14 million. So the fact that the Green Bay Packers had found themselves a stud at the tackle position who is playing way higher than what he's actually getting paid, definitely do not move Zach Tom. I think the battle is going to be between Rasheed Walker, Jordan Morgan at left tackle, or Jordan Morgan and Sean Ryan at the right guard position. Um, the thing, the, the few stats that I've read about Zach Tom is if there was a third team all pro for the right tackle position, I think Zach Tom would have won it. Like that's how good of a right tackle Zach Tom is. For the whole entire season, he allowed two sacks and 33 total pressures. In the last seven games, he allowed zero sacks and 10 pressures. He went up against Michael Parsons. He went up against Nick Boza. If you look at their last seven teams that they played and you see an elite edge rusher, nine times out of ten, they faced Zach Tom. And a lot of them faced little success going up to Zach Tom. Out of 57 offensive tackles with 50% playing time, Zach Tom ranks 13th in PFF plasma blocking efficiency only guilty of three penalties but the green bay packers should not fix what's not broken um i'm sure they're going to want to play around with the lineup i know brian gunikis wants the best five at all times protecting jordan love franchise quarterback so i understand them messing around with scenarios but the one scenario that i see i think rasheed walker played a tremendous job in the second half of the season. I'm sure he'll come in with a great attitude. So I can definitely see him winning that position. So I can see Rashid Walker, left tackle, Elton Jenkins, don't got to move him, left guard, Josh Myers, center. The thing about Josh Myers is if he were to get hurt, I can see Zach Tom coming in as a backup at the center position or maybe right guard position, but definitely not a starter for Zach Tom. So we're going to have Josh Myers at center. I think the right guard position will probably be won by Jordan Morgan. Um, elite athleticism. Um, I don't think I've been impressed with Sean Ryan just yet to kind of solidify him being the starter, but I'm going to go with Jordan Morgan at right guard and Zach Tom at right tackle. I think that is a solid offensive front. That could be the potential great wall of Lambeau, but those are my prediction for the front five. The Green Bay Packers should just stick with Zach Tom at right tackle. But other than that, thank you so much for watching my video. Please comment below on your thoughts on what the Packers should do with the right of Zach Tom. Keep him at right tackle or move him into guard. Please comment below what you think. But please like and subscribe to the channel. I make weekly content every Monday and Friday. But overall, thank you so much. Catch you next time.